Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com and it's time for our next Saturday with Stacy, YouTube class number 417 and this one is easy breezy. It really is easy peasy breezy. <laughs> I think that you will find it will make your heart happy. I have got a worldwide launch from Katora Creations. Thank you, Mr. Ozzy Andrew. And I have got the next collection of Simply Defined Kaleidoscope stencils. I am, gosh, our, our last collection is almost here. So once it arrives, we'll get that ready to ship on out to you. I've got versus stamps for you and some stampendous and just a a whole lot of goodness and hopefully all wrapped up in there is a technique or a tip or a trick that you didn't know before or you hadn't thought of before or maybe you already knew it but you forgot it it was way way you learned that way 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 ago <laughs> so I have winner winner chicken dinner to announce I think I will start with that and then I have a few announcements to make and then we will, I can see somebody walking by, then we will get started for today. Are we ready? I think so. Okay, so let me start with winner, winner, chicken dinner. And these two people love the first one. Wahoo, you're, you're my hero on the first one. Okay, so if, both of these I can pronounce. These two, these two ladies, posted a comment on our last YouTube and it was approved and they went into the running to be a winner winner chicken dinner. We have a software that randomly selects our winners and they have received a $25 gift card. Wahoo Kachu. It's already in your online account. They don't have to do anything, nothing except for go spend it. <laughs> you don't have to claim your prize or send us an email or anything but you do have to be a subscriber. There's a little heart somewhere in this general vicinity and it has an SMS in it. You just run your mouse over the top of that heart and a little subscribe bar will come up. Hit the subscribe bar, post your comment below and I'll approve it and then you go into the running to be a winner winner chicken dinner. Please remember the live chat comments do not count. You have to post one below and I'll approve it. So you may not see it right away. It may take me a day or two or three to finally be able to approve the comments, but it'll get there eventually, I promise. All right, our winner winner chicken dinners for this week are, like I said, I can pronounce all these. Gosh, I already have some glitter on me. Rhonda, hello Rhonda. Rhonda Cade, hello Rhonda Cade. I told you I could pronounce your name. <laughs> That makes my heart happy. That makes my heart happy. <laughs> Congratulations, Rhonda. You're a winner, winner chicken dinner here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, but you are not alone. Oh no, we always have two. Our next winner, winner is Sylvia. Sylvia Fulkins. Hello, Sylvia Fulkins. How are you doing today? You also are a winner, winner chicken dinner, and I probably pronounced your name pretty close to being right. Yeah, I'm a happy girl. <laughs> <laughs> such little things in life give you such such big pleasure, right? I mean, who would think pronouncing somebody's name properly would like fill my heart? <laughs> but it does. So Sylvia and Rhonda, like I said, $25 is already in your online account. You don't have to do anything to claim your prize. All you have to do is go spend the money. Have fun, ladies. Now let's do our winner, winner, chicken dinner dance real quick, and then I'll get on to a few announcements that are important. Yes, they're important, so let's start. Ready? You're a winner, chicken dinner. You're a winner, chicken dinner. Wahoo, kachu for you. Congratulations to the both of you. I hope you enjoy whatever it is you purchase, and remember, if you want a chance to win, you have to post a comment and you can't post a comment if you're not a subscriber. So let's talk announcements. At about 9.15 this morning while you're watching this, oh no, probably 9.05, around 9.05, <laughs> everybody on live chat is going to remind me, hey, it's time. Um, <laughs> Jinky Dog's gonna say, Stacy, it's time to go, go, go over and load the website. So at about 9.05, I'm gonna leave the live chat and head on over to the website so I can load up the newest and latest and greatest from Tim Holtz and Sizzix. Yes, he, it is his last release for Sizzix for the year. It will be the last release we have for Tim Holtz for the year, regardless of what manufacturer. It will be the last time we are expediting any of his products for the year. So 
If you want to see the latest and greatest from Tim and you want them at a value price at an amazing bundle price and you want them to ship with them, we'll start shipping if you place your order on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, we start shipping the following Friday. And for those of you who have been taking advantage of this, you know what I say is true. And the only reason we're able to accommodate expedited shipping is because we have Ellison Elves working for us. The Ellison Elves get everything bundled, put together, organized, ready to go. All I have to do is put it in a box and slap a label on it. So around 9.15, no, around 9.05, I'll leave the live chat at 9.15, ish all the new tim holtz stuff will be up for you by all means take a look we have limited quantities when they're sold out they will be sold out and if you want it to be expedited shipping remember you have to only order product from that one category just that one tim category and it has to be a pay now you are of course welcome to do a pay later order get the sale price now and do a pay later order it just won't qualify for expedited shipping and of course you are welcome to add things to your order if you want to but again it won't qualify for expedited shipping so if you want a few things from today's youtube and you want the tim product and you want to put it all on one order perfectly and you want to pay later perfectly fine just know that we won't be able to expedite that order for you okay that's that what else do I have? I have a worldwide launch from Ozzy Andrew. Bless his pea pick and heart, really. It, the price is amazing. There's eight sets. I have them. I mean, I have, well, actually, I just have the samples here that I have. I don't have the product yet here in our hands. It still has to get here, and that's going to take some time. But when you see what he's done for the price, ah, oh, but... I have to tell you what he named the the collection so all when I show you what we have then I'll talk to you about how he named the collection it was like oh sometimes things just don't translate <laughs> oh Ozzy <was he>, Andrew <laughs> okay so I think I'm gonna show you some samples I'm gonna scroll down I am going to start super easy and we're actually going to start with die cutting even though most of you already know how to die cut. I get that and I'm not going to spend much time on it but I have to assume that there are newbies out there, new people who are just learning how to craft or just thinking maybe they want to start crafting. So I'm going to take a few minutes and show them how to die cut and then we'll move into the technique portion of the class. We're going to start very very simple and we're going to get progressively harder and at the end at the end, if you stay with me, I think it is a wow moment. I think. I could be a little biased, but that's okay. Somebody has to be, right? All right, so I'm going to tilt on down. We're going to get started for today. I'm going to show you a couple quick samples, and then I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to show you the Ozzy Andrew Worldwide launch because that product is also limited. My stencils are limited, and his, his launch is limited. So let me get down. Let me start, and we'll go from there. All right, down I go. Bye everybody. And let me zoom on in. And get it straight now. I feel like I'm crooked, but let me zoom on in a little bit more. I know, not very high tech, but that's okay. Oh, did I go backwards? God loves a trier, and that's all that matters. We definitely are a trier. I still feel like I'm crooked, but you know what? I'm going to live with it. Okay, so super cute sample, right? I have new Simply Defined Kaleidoscope layering stencils for you. So Simply Defined is my brand, and Kaleidoscope layering stencils gets you three A2 stencils that can be used independently of each other or all together to make a beautiful, beautiful background. And then Heartfelt Thanks is part of Ozzy Andrews worldwide release. So there is one sample for you. And here is the other. Again, that background is a simply defined kaleidoscope layering stencil and the you make me smile part is an Ozzy Andrew worldwide launch. Cute, right? love the colors. I actually, this was my prototype. I actually colored this one. 
and then the girls, bless their heart, they made it into a card. So I'm going to show you his product first just because I know it's, it's limited. And so what it is is he's got new die sets. And the die sets have a, well, at least one large word. It has a frame that has a stitched edge to it. It has the word that fits in it. And then it has all of these extra little doodads. And the doodads go with the word. So this one is, uh, let's see, love you, thoughts of, or I guess you have thoughts of love, full of love, my love. Uh, there's just I've got the samples over there but you can make a ton of different a ton of different sentiments with this and on layouts these are like beautiful wait till you see the layouts and the cards Claire did a great layout so he's got eight new words or eight new sets and you would be surprised at what they retail for with everything that you get He's retailing them for 10 bucks. And then we're putting them on a YouTube yummy for eight bucks. Okay, Chris at, <laughs> at Couture Creations, you used the same image and just photoshopped in the word. <laughs> I'm calling you out on that, Chris. <laughs> Okay, so I've got eight sets at eight bucks a set. I mean, I, I can't do better than that. I, I, I can't do better than that. You got to give credit where credit is due. And he's done a wonderful job on these. So I'm going to put those right there and I'm going to cut with one. But I want to show you the storyboards because the girls made storyboards for you. So here is your congrats. So there's your congrats. And then it has the shadow to go behind it. And then it has all these words to go with. Massive congrats. Congrats to you. You did it. Congrats. Um, you nailed it. Congrats. I mean, and then the little leaf. That's all for $8, right? Okay, crazy, right? Then you've got big hugs and all the words that go with big hugs that you could make sentiments out of. And the little leaf. So we've got miss your big hugs, sending big hugs, hugs and kisses. I mean, all for, and you get the shadow and, and the main die all for $8. Then we've got celebrate and hooray. So you've got let's celebrate and celebrate the little things and celebrate in style and hooray. You get all of that for your $8, including the little, the little leaves. And then down here, you've got love. So you've got the big love and the butterflies and your thoughts of love, full of love, love you. Uh, my heart is with you. Um, I, I mean, just all the different things that you can make out of that, all the different, all the different sentiments you can make. So we've got those. Then I've got hello, hello you, XOXO, hello sunshine. We've got the little, the little sunshine flowery there for eight bucks and then smile. You make me smile. You have a beautiful smile. And you even get a little banner. I mean, right? So this is a worldwide launch. You're only gonna find them at Scrapbooking Made Simple. And it may be that it stays that way depending on how many we sell. We may be the only ones who get them. There you have thank you, heartfelt thanks. You've got the little leaves to go with it. And last one, you have happy birthday and sending uh, sending happy birthday of ha uh, happy th oh happy thoughts there we go so he's given you quite a few little sentiments for eight bucks 
and they're big and they look great on cards and they look great on layouts. So I wanted to show you these ahead of time because I know we're limited on them. Eight sets, $8 each on a YouTube Yummy, even at $10 each, which is their regular price, even at 10 bucks each, it's a great deal. Now, I'm gonna tilt up and I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to you about this just really quickly. And then let me zoom on back. Zoom, 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 zoom. So, Ozzy Andrew showed me these and I love them. I saw them ahead of time and I love, love, love them. And then I looked at the name of the collection and I, I said, Andrew, <laughs> is that, did you, did you, did you, you got a typo here? And he's like, no, no, it's, it, this is the name. The name of the collection is, uh, it's part of the collection called Homely Flowers. Homely Flowers. I said, Andrew, don't you mean homey flowers? And he's like, no, homely, like, like, for your home, very homely. They, 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 you know, homely. DIY, homely. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> homely, homely doesn't translate that way in the United States. <laughs> oh, Andrew, I was a very homely child. I was not an attractive little girl. Trust me, I, I'm not kidding. I mean it, I was, I was a homely child. I said, Andrew, homely in the United States, to, you, you meant to call him homey. And he's like, well, too late. <laughs> So sometimes not everything translates as you think it would. I said, next time, Andrew, <laughs> send me the name of your collections and let me be sure. So this, this, the, these dyes are part of the homely Flora Flowers collection, but these dyes are not homely at all. They're wonderful. <laughs> He's like, huh? <laughs> He really was. He was on a Zoom. And he looked at me like... <laughs> trying to explain to him. It was... Maybe you had to be there, but it was really funny. But this is the Homely Flowers collection. I love you, Andrew. Gosh, I really do. You put up with me, and that's more than most people, so... <laughs> All right, so I'm going to tilt down and we're going to get started for today. Are you ready? Okay, bye. Sometimes things just don't translate. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm like, they're not homely, they're homey. It's like, well, too late. That was, that's really what he said. Too late. Okay, dude. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to play with the love one. I'm not going to do all of them. I'm only going to play with one just so you can get an idea of what we have. And I didn't pull any paper out. Um, so I'm you're going to bear with me for a minute and I'm just going to make some paper. <laughs> you're going to make some paper because yeah, I don't want to cut it all out of white. Um, then you won't be able to see the difference. I just want to I just want to get some ink. <laughs> Get some ink down and I'm not even, I'm not even trying, I'm not even dabbing off and starting off. I'm, I'm just making a mess, but that's okay. I just need some colored paper. And by the time I die cut, I don't think you're going to tell one <laughs> that, that, um, that it's not blended beautifully. Okay, that works. And then let's go with something. Let's go with something contrasting. Let's put my blue away. These are also Ozzy Andrews blending brushes. I love them because they have these little hats. I do. We sell them in two sizes with the hats, the large and the medium. Don't ask me why, but they're both the exact same price. They sell for $5 and then we put them on a YouTube Yummy for $4 each. But I love, and I have asked. I don't know if he's ever going to sell the hats by themselves. I keep asking. I'm persistent. I will not give up. Don't worry. I will continue to ask. Are you going to get the hats? <laughs> He's like, 
their lids, not hats. And I'm like, well, you know, tomato, tomato. <laughs> Let's get some color on here. Just so I have some contrasting color. Not that love is blue and orange, but maybe love is blue and orange. Oh. Somebody's here with something. I hear somebody out there. All right. I think that's good. I should be able to cut from that. I'm just making some paper just because. And well, maybe we'll do the red too. No, maybe we'll do the yellow. No, that's the red. No, I guess we're going to do the red. I've got the red in my hand. But we've got a delivery going on outside. Can't tell you what it is. All right, so I've got some color. We're good. That'll do. Now let's take our love. And I guess I'll do that out of blue. This is a dye. It is a chemically etched dye or a wafer thin dye. It's called a wafer thin dye because, well, it's wafer thin. They have put a stitched edge all the way around. I believe on all of them, it has a stitched edge all the way around. I'm trying to get the little tape off. And I'm just going to die cut this. This is an easy breezy die cut. This does not take, actually, yeah, I'm good. This does not take a uh, precision base plate or anything like that. It does take, however, a die cutting machine. That's important. You got to have a die cutting machine. So this is a Sizzix Big Shot machine. This die is this die will go through a cuddle bug machine. It will go through a cut uh, a sidekick machine. This will fit. It's less than two and a half inches. It will fit in a sidekick machine. It will fit in your Vagabond machine, your plus machine, your pro machine, your spellbinders machines, regardless of what machine you've got from spellbinders, a, a what is it, a grand caliber or your platinum six, your platinum eight, a Gemini machine, what die cut machine you got. This die is going to easily go through it without any problem. With the Sizzix machine, I still have that tape on there. With the Sizzix machine, I do need to use my base, my base platform that your machine is going to come with, and I need to use my solo shim. You put both of these together and that's going to make the platform tall enough to reach the the pressure the wheel under here that's going to make it cut i have got a cut plate oh look at it. it's beautiful it's clean i don't know why they gave me a new one but they did yours will too will come out beautifully clean you'll get two of these you'll use one of them as a cut plate and then one of them as a do not cut plate i use a different color plate as a do not cut plate and i always like to have a do not cut plate and that's just what we call it. It's just a plate that you try never to cut into because as you cut into your uh, your clear plates, they will, they will slowly start to get little marks in them. And after a while, you won't be able to see through it anymore. It'll be so marked up, but that's what it's meant to do. The die needs to have something to grip into to be able to cut. So eventually you're gonna use this clear plate until it warps and it breaks and, and it cracks in half and then you'll replace it. But if you always have something that's a do not cut plate, it keeps it flat all the time and it allows you to send your die through pretty easy pre peasy. So it just keeps it rolling really, really nice. So I'm just gonna roll it on through. I don't even have to roll it back. This is an open frame die, which means that I can and stick my finger into the die. There's no intricacy to this die at all. Look, at, I've got the, gosh, I think I'm gonna hold on to that. Okay, so then I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna hold on to that and that. And let's do, let's do our love out of the red. So now I'm gonna do the love out of the red word.
bring it on over. Again, it's still a fairly simple die. Not much intricate in that at all. I'm going to send it on through. This is the beauty of a die cutting machine. You can take paper and make amazing things with it. Simple paper and make amazing things with it. A die cutting machine is absolutely an investment, but once you buy it, gosh, you're going to you're going to enjoy it. So, now I've got my my love which then fits right in there. Right? Easy. But I could take, I guess I used that blue. I could take and kind of finish this off a little bit. Gosh, maybe that was our U-line order. Envelopes, please. <laughs> Can't ship without envelopes, please. Okay, so I added a little more color. I could take that, put that there on a piece of paper. Put that in there and have a totally different look. Right? I still have this piece. I could take this and put that on there and have a totally different look. Or I could take the orange. Let's take the orange and let's line both of these up together. Still got that tape on there. Let's try to cut both of these, both of these together. So I'm gonna wipe my desk off real quick. Get that hook off there. I'm going to bring over my Big Shot machine. Now, I'm going to just kind of line it up. But if I wanted to be precise, I could use a magnetic platform. So I'm just lining that up. I could tape it down so it doesn't move. If you don't have a magnetic platform, you're like, what's a magnetic platform? Hold on just a moment. Let me get some tape out here. Oh, there we go. So I could tape my die in place, put my top plate over it and send it on through. Or if I wanted to spend a little extra money, although with us it's free, I think. We sell the machine and the magnetic platform at a bundle price. A magnetic platform allows you to not have to tape anything down. It replaces both of these and because it's magnetic it allows you to line up your die, center it where you want, not have to tape down, so if you're doing stamping and die cutting, magnetic platform is a big help. And when I've got it where I want it, it stays there. No washi tape needed. Close it up. And send it on through. Of course, now I, did I move it? I did because I moved my plate. Gosh darn it, oh see it's still, it's sticky on there. I can't get that piece of tape off and it's sticking. All right, let's line it on up again. And put my plate on, make sure my plate is, oopsie, did it again. Keep my plate straight.
Okay, send it on through. And let's see what we get. See, it's sticking. It's got that little piece of tape on it. I'm gonna get my love, but now I have a frame of the love. Remember when we started, we started with this piece. And this piece came out of that piece. And then we did the red. And we have that. Now we have this piece as well because we cut the love and we cut the shadow at the same time, giving me an outline shadow. So I can take this and fit that in there and fit that in there. Oodles and oodles and oodles of options is what you have with these dies. They're easy to use. That on there. And you've got all the extra sentiments to go with it. And I wouldn't throw, I mean, I think the love looks super cute right in the center of there. I wouldn't throw any of these away. And you've still got the red one down here that you can use. So for eight bucks, and this is just one part of the set, I didn't use any of the other sentiments. I didn't use the you, I didn't use the butterflies. I mean, there's just lots of different things you can do for eight dollars. But that is die cutting at its basic. That's just as easy as it gets. And we made our own paper because I didn't have any, so I just made some paper by using some ink and die cutting to get all the different pieces. It is pretty darn cool to be able to do something like that with just paper. Absolutely. All right, so there's eight different words, $8 a set, worldwide launch, and job well done. Got to give it up to Ozzy Andrew because that price is a smoking hot price without question. Okay, now we're going to move on and we're going to move on to layering stencils. So I have two new kaleidoscope stencils and kaleidoscope stencils are layering stencils you get three stencils per set in fact i'm gonna before i move these anywhere i'm going to label these <laughs> i learned last week i'm going to label these so this is going to be i'm going to do this one as number one number two number three yeah, I'm gonna do this one and I'm gonna say it's gonna go this way and it's going to be number one. And then I'm gonna do this one this way and it's going to be number two. And my last stencil is going to be this way and it's going to be number three. There, I took them right out of the bag and I just layered them, marked them right then and there. And that's the way I want it. When I take them out of the bag, I don't want to be able to see anything through it. I shouldn't be able to see my hand at all. So now I've layered my one, my two, and my three. These are A2 size, and I've put extra tabs around them so that you have something to tape down to. I'm gonna start super simple with these and then we'll get progressively harder when we get to my next stencil. So let's start with number one. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tape it down. So I'm gonna grab some washi and I'm always gonna tape on the top and I'm always going to tape on the bottom tab. You've got six tabs here that give you something to tape to. Then I usually go 
on the diagonal. One here and one here. And you say, but Stacy, how come you don't put the other tabs? How come you don't tape where the other tabs are? I use those as my registration marks. And that way, when I go to layer my next stencil, it's very easy peasy for me. Now let's take, oh, there's a little something in there. Probably that tape. Let's take some brushes and let's decide what colors I want to do. How about we do... Uh, how about blue, green, and yellow? Did that work for everybody? All right, I'm going to go blue, green, and yellow. So my first color is going to be green. And you can use any ink that makes your heart happy. In fact, you don't have to... You don't have to use the same ink manufacturers. If you have a green that's Memento that you want to use, but you have a pink that's Tim Holtz that you want to use, and you have a, a, a blue from, from Hero Arts that you want to use, absolutely. You're not, you don't have to stick within the same ink manufacturer. It's best to stick within the same ink types, so use all your dye-based inks together, but you are going to pick your, the colors that make your heart happy. If you have a little bit of this from one manufacturer and a little bit of that from another manufacturer, play with them. Use them together. You're really buying color is what you're buying. So, now normally with a blending brush, I would be doing this. But these are very linear lines, very linear lines. And if I start going in circles, it's going to start pulling my linear lines and I'm not going to have a nice crisp image. So for linear lines, no matter whose stencil you're using, you're going to want to go up and down. You're just going to want to go up and down. Now some people say just go up and some people say just go down. It's really up to you, but you don't want to do this on linear lines. You don't, because it's going to drag those lines and not give you a nice crisp image. Now also, I'm not like tapping off. Oh, I got black on there. How did I get black on there? Oh, I pulled it from there. Oh, Daisy. Okay, this was number one. And that's up. I've got to be careful not to pull. Like, how did I get black on my... Okay, we're going with it anyway. So again, you don't want to go side by side or around because you're going to pull those, those stencil, those masks that's hiding the white paper so that you don't ink it all green. Okay. We're just about done. And remember what I said about registration lines? Remember how I said I didn't do the tabs? Well, I'm going to put a little extra ink over here as I'm taking my black off. And that way, when I go to line up my next stencil on top of this, I know exactly where to go. All right, you think we're good? not as dark as I wanted. I wonder if, I wonder if, oh, that would have been darker. Oh, well, we'll just throw some of that in there, right? So this is fresh lawn. It's a little darker than the lime green. And I'm just going to throw a little bit of that in here just to darken it up a little bit. Okay, good. I'm happy with that. So one stencil done. Doesn't look like much. take my tape off and I could be done if all I wanted was one stencil. Each of the three stencils are uniquely different. They can be used on their own as a single stencil, they can be used as a double stencil, or you can layer all three of them together for a completely different look. So there. And you can see my registration marks here and here. That means when I line up my next stencil, all I have to do is fit the little tabs where they're shown. So let's take this and wipe it down. A baby wipe is all I'm going to use, although I'm very upset about my, my Sharpie did not stay. I need to make sure that it's 
it's on there. So that was number one, right? Hmm. One, and let's try again up. And I'll be more careful next time. Then I'm going to grab number two. Oh, it makes me nervous, but that's okay. We're going to go for it. Number two, and I'm going to lay number two right down on top of number one. And what you're going to notice is that it's actually going to mask the green. It's going to cover all that green that I just did up. Cover it all up so that I can lay down my next color. So let's line my my stencil up. That's good there and that looks like it's good there. I'm going to put my washi tape on the top and my washi tape on the bottom. Come on. And on my two sides. So here and there. And then I'm going to pull a whole different color. And I said blue. All right, so let's do blue. Is that my blue? Yes, it is. So let's put my green away. Little cap fits right on. I've got my blue right here. Go into my deep ocean. And up and down. Oh, it's going to take it right off. <laughs> okay, then. I'm going to have to write it somewhere so I make sure I go up. So put my blue. Right on down. And I'm going up and down. I'm not going side to side or in a swirling motion. And I'm not being so ginger. I'm obviously not. I've got some highs and I've got some lows in my blue and I'm perfectly fine with that. I like the depth perception. If everything has the exact same saturation level. So here you can see it's darker here but it's lighter up here. If everything had the same saturation level, same darkness as this, the paper would stay looking pretty darn flat. And I want my paper to feel like it's got some depth perception. Think we're good? Okay, well, we're gonna go for it. And take off my washi tape and I will use it for my last stencil. Now again, I could be done. I could take this stencil off and say, okay, I tap out. This is all I wanted. I'm great. It makes my heart happy. I'm going to use this. You're like you got to remember it's going to be gone. I could just be I could just be done there. You know what? So I didn't even put the third stencil on this one. Look at that. Right? Easy peasy. Now what I want to show you, what I am going to show you, is that this time I'm going to start with stencil number two. I just need to make sure it's going in the right direction. Up. Oh, maybe that's where I'll put it on the tabs that I cover up. So I'm going to start with stencil number two. And let's tape it down. 
with the linear stencils that I'm using, it doesn't matter what order you put them in. It doesn't matter if you do one first and then three and then two. What matters is that they go in the right direction. It's all about the direction with this linear stencil, which is why you want your arrows. Let me tell you, if you don't put your arrows saying which way to go, you, you'll eventually get it, trust me. <laughs> I did last week, I eventually got it with a, trying to line something up, but uh, there's only one way it's gonna work perfectly and you only have so many options to get it there. But if you wanna save yourself a little bit of aggravation. So on this one, on the linear stencil that I'm doing here, it's really not so important if it's one, two, or three, it all, the, the, the lines, which way the lines go, what, what's up and down on the stencil. That's the important part. So this time I'm playing with number two. And it's completely different than the first stencil that I used, number one. And I'm just going to get some ink on here. And do my tabs. That way I can line my stencil up pretty easy. All right, so this time I started with number two. Pull off my washi tape. Oh, I think I'm gonna need some new washi tape. That's okay, I've got more. Oh, and that was a winner, winner, chicken dinner, putting my arrow that way, underneath a tab that gets covered. So there's stencil number two, which is dramatically different than the green one. Now I'm gonna put the green one back on top, just so you can see. My little, my little arrow that way, that way, and you'll see, even though I did number two first, number one is going to cover up all that blue, leaving you just white paper. It's ask, uh, act, acting as a mask. So I'm stenciling and masking off that blue at the exact same time. People ask the difference, what the difference between a, a, a stencil and a mask? Well, a stencil lets you lay the color down. A mask hides, it keeps something from being colored. So these stencils are masks and stencils at the exact same time. I'm gonna hide my blue Let's tape it down, let's get some new tape. I'm gonna, looks pretty good. Put my washi tape down on my top. Put my washi tape down on my bottom. And then I'll put it on this side. And I'll put it on this side and this time this time why don't we go with the yellow and let's try the yellow in there got my yellow oh yeah and again you're not gonna swirl you're either gonna go up and down kind of paint it on. You don't want to do wax on, wax off. Uh -uh. <laughs> this time you just want to go up and down. And wherever the stencil is open to the paper, it's laying down the color. And where the stencil is hiding that blue, it's not allowing the yellow to mix with it. So those of you 
who don't like to mix your food on the plate. You don't want your peas to touch your carrots, to touch your meatloaf, to touch your potatoes. This is perfect for you because none of it's supposed to touch. <laughs> you don't want your peas to touch your, to touch your meatloaf. Yay. Okay. So let's peel off my, my washi tape. Let's see if I can save that piece for next. Yeah, put your put your registration, put your one or your arrows up on your tabs that you're covering up. That works better. All right, so now I've got here, which is very similar to here. Only this time I'm going to add my last stencil, which I know now is not going to is going to blend. That black is going to blend right off. I wonder if I should just maybe take a little bit of a wash, a little bit, and get that off. So let's just take a little bit of alcohol. Oh, yeah. There. Now it doesn't get into my ink. And instead, I will point up here and here, and I will do three and three. There we go. And I'm going to line it up. And now this last stencil is covering all the blue and the yellow. Covering the blue and the yellow. So leaving me only white lines for the ink to go. And that looks pretty good. Close enough. Down. And down. Nope, I'm going to leave a little more. That one's too far gone. Let's put my yellow lid back on. And let's get a little bit more washi tape. Cover this one up and cover this one up. There. So now I'm ready to do my last color. And we didn't use the green. So let's use the green. And again, I'm going to go, uh, oh, I think I want my, I want my, well, I'm going to use fresh lawn because it's a little bit darker. I'm just going to go up and down. Some places it's getting a little more ink. Some places doesn't have quite as much ink. And I'm okay with that. If you want to go in there and make sure that all of your lines are exactly the same color, you absolutely can. You'll just have to spend a little more time laying your color down. Make sure that you get it all filled in. And I think for good measure, I will throw some of that lime green in just to lime it up a little. Okay.
take my washi tape off. And now we've got all three stencils. One, two, and three. Let's cut it out. And you can leave the white border. You can cut the white border off. You can cut this into strips and just use a portion of this. But it is an A2 card size, which is really nice. So now it can run this way, it can run that way, you can take let's pop out the pop out the little love little pieces. And bam, I could rotate it this way. What makes your heart happy? If I don't want to use all three colors, I can just use two. I can just use two. And if I really wanted to, I could use just one stencil. And I didn't even do, you can do the, the one, the one and the two together to make a background. You can do the two and the three together to make a background. You can do the one and the three together to make a background, or you can layer them all. You have options. There are three individual stencils that can be used either on their own or in conjunction with each other, all depending upon what you want it to look like. So you've got three, four, five, six, seven, seven different options for $9.99. That's not a bad way to go. I mean, my gosh, when you have so many different ways of doing something, that's why his dies are also so reasonably priced. When you have so many different ways of doing something for a value price, you always want to get as much as you can out of what you've purchased. It's your money. You, you worked hard for it. <laughs> so love these, love these. I did this one a little earlier using the brown. Put brown on there instead. And then the girls did beautiful samples where they left negative space. Not putting that third color down, put a third color down. You left it white, that's your third color. As opposed to going back and adding a third. White is a color, absolutely. You could do this on light colored cardstock and that light colored cardstock becomes that third color for you, right? Okay, so we played with this one. I'm going to put this one aside for right now. Then we're going to move to the next stencil. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do easy peasy. And then with this one, we are going to get progressively harder. So same thing, three stencils makes a completed image. You can use them independently of each other. And on this stencil, um, yeah, I mean, to me, so I always start with this one first. This is my stencil number one. And then I make this one my number two, and this one my number three. 
You really can because they will mix and match. You can layer them in almost any way you want. If you wanted to do this as your first stencil, you could, and then come back and do this as your second stencil, you could, and this is your third. You, you really can juggle them around in whatever works best for you. But I'm gonna start here. And because the stencil is symmetrical, it's not gonna make a difference if I do it this way or I do it this way, or I do this one this way and that one this way. Because it's a symmetrical stencil, it's going to line up regardless. You don't need arrows going up to show you which way. So let's grab a piece of paper and let's do stencil number one. And let's grab some washi tape. And let's tape it down. So one there. One there. One there. And then last but not least, one down here. So I leave two tabs for me to ink over. There's a tab here and a tab here. I leave two tabs for me to ink over so I can get registration lines. All right, let's let's go pink. Let's go pink. Come on, stay stay put. So this one, because the lines are not linear, I can go on a diagonal. I can go in there and scroll around and, you know, kind of go in and whatever. I, I can wax on, wax off. <laughs> if you don't know what I mean by wax on, wax off, Google it. <laughs> I so remember that with my parents <laughs> watching that movie. Okay. So I've almost got this one colored and I've got just a really light pink going. And I'm swirling and I'm just wanting to get that color down. And I want to show you this stencil all by itself. All right. So all on its own, it's a beautiful stencil just by itself. All by itself. All by itself, it's a pretty stencil. But we want to make it more than that. So we're going to take our next stencil. And I have this one marked stencil number two. Again, with these stencils, you really have an option to kind of do them in whatever order you want. Grab some plain paper and just play. I'm just going to line it up and again you'll see that I'm covering all that pink I just did and I'm only leaving visible white space where it's cut out. I'm covering up all that pink because I'm going to add another color and I don't want to lose that pink. I don't want them to blend into each other. So let's tape it down. I love having the tabs. It makes my life a lot easier. 
My first set of stencils that I did didn't have tabs. It only took me once. And I said, oh no, we can do better than this. <laughs> I love having the extra tabs for tape down. Makes my life easier. All right, so let's grab another color. Let's grab orange. So I've got my pink. And putting in back. Oh, yeah, backwards. Let's grab my orange. And now we're going to go right on top. And again, I'm not on a linear. This isn't a linear stencil. I don't just have straight lines. So I'm able to get in there and really get some ink down and I can swirl and fill all that empty space all where you see white coming through everywhere you see white you need to add ink doesn't matter whose ink doesn't matter if you blend the inks and you use some inks from one manufacturer and another color from another manufacturer. You really are going on color here. That's what you're working with. What colors do I want to use? And then see what you have in your stash. I know lots of you like to be loyal to a manufacturer and I appreciate that. At the same time, I know that you've collected things over the years and you can absolutely take a, an ink from one company and use it with an ink from another. Pick the color, buy the color that makes your heart happy. What if a manufacturer makes an ink or doesn't have the color that you want? Okay, are you ready? Let's pop this one off. And bam but we're not done yet I mean you could leave it just like that absolutely could leave it just like that not a problem okay well we will we'll leave it just like that and I'll do another one super fast super fast so let's just put this one down I'm gonna do this one crazy fast just so we can have one that's got white background and one that doesn't Although you're able to layer these any way you want. And this time, maybe I'll start with my orange. So this time I'm kind of, oh, I pulled up some of that black. I didn't cover up all of my number one. So I'm coming in here with orange and I'm laying that down as my first color. That black bothers me, but I'm not gonna be able to get rid of it. And I'm able to swirl and you can see how much faster it goes. It doesn't take long to do. When you're sitting there at home, you can have this done in under five minutes. You can have all three layers done in well under five minutes. And then you've got basically an entire card. Or a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful embellishment for your layouts, because you could cut this, and oh my gosh, the things you could do. All right, well. I can't get all that black out. It's going to drive me crazy. But it's homemade. It is what it is. You get what you get. It's my art. All right. So started with the orange. Now I'll go to pink. So we'll have the reverse.
Isn't that pretty all by itself? Either way, right? But let's put the pink on. So we'll have the reverse and then I'll do the third, the third layer on this one. So I'm gonna line it up so that all that orange is covered up. And maybe this one I'll do with some blue. That would be fun, right? A little bit of blue. orange lid on and grab my blue and let's see what colors we've got. So what color is this? Oh, I like that. We're going with teal. That works for me. Or do I want the, I go to cornflower all the time though. Cornflower is like, it's almost becoming my yellow. No, nope, I'm going to use the kind of the greeny. So it's almost greeny, so I'm gonna use my green. Ooh, I like it. So I'm gonna lay down my second color. get in all those white spaces and just be super quick about it. I don't care if I'm going outside my lines, no big deal. Okay, so let's see what we got now that we added the green. I'm trying to save my washi tape. Okay, so here we had, these are now the same. Here it was pink and orange, here it's green and orange, and now we're gonna finish it. We're gonna put a final color on it. And, um, oh, what color do we wanna do? Um, we wanna do blue, we wanna do yellow, all right, well, let's get it lined up and taped down, and then we can converse about what color ink to use. So I'm just lining it up. That looks pretty good. Tape down. And tape down. And tape down. And tape down. Well, do I use yellow or do I use blue? Do I use pink? I don't know. Decisions, decisions. All right, well, let's just use blue. No idea what we're going to get, but you never know. And that's the beauty of these stencils, is that if you've got white paper, you've got an opportunity to play. And now on this last stencil, there's a couple holes that are on top of the green. So when I mix this blue on top of that green, there's just a couple holes where it's actually gonna then turn to a fourth color. 
because now I'm layering that blue on top of the green. And anywhere you see white paper, add your color. I want all the white hidden because that last stencil that I've put on has covered up all the green and all the blue with the exception of these little medallions. There's five little medallions. So on that last stencil, which is always going to be your last, it's really best to use that one as your last stencil. There's five little medallions where the green and the blue have now mixed, which is then going to give me four distinct colors. So let's peel off And I like having a big border around it because then I can check my colors before I do it. I have time. I can I can see what I like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that one worked. I love it. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? So I could do just one stencil or I could do two or I could do all three. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You really can't go wrong. And the stencils, you just, you just have to get them. And when you get home, you stencil each of them individually. And then you make your combinations, your one and two, and your two and three, and your one and three. And then you do one that's one, two, and three. And you keep all of those together with the stencil so that when you go to use it, you can see what it is you can do with it ahead of time. Just grab some white paper and it does not matter if the inks don't, you know, if you use colors that are not Wahoo could chew for you. All you really want to do is get the idea. You just want to see what it's going to look like. This looks good though. I'm really happy with this one. You can keep it soft and delicate. You can make it more masculine with the colors you choose. Everything changes based off the colors you choose. Everything changes. Right? So, I mean like this one over here. But then remember I showed you this sample here? Look at the colors in there, bright and happy. But here you've got more masculine. But here you've got bright and happy. It's the same stencil. You've just changed the color. Just depends upon how you want it to look. And I could have just done a single stencil and left it. What do you think? Are we yay? Are we nay? Are we wahoo could chew? All right, so three different stencils to be used three different ways. Let's just do this one real quick. This one was done in blue, so I'll keep it in the blue. And let's grab some washi tape. So this is the very last stencil that I used. And it's going to make a funky looking A funky looking stencil and because the stencils are symmetrical it doesn't matter up and down it's always going to line up it's all about which which layers you want to put down first so let's grab let's grab that and let's grab my blue oh let's use 
Yeah, that's fine. You want to use the corn flour? Did I use the corn flour last time? Let's use. And I'm just going to go in there real quick, spend very little time. Just want to get my color down. I only need to worry about where there's white space. If you can't see the white of the card, there's no point in inking it. So I think that's good. Okay, so there's just the one layer. See how open it is when you use just the one layer? I'm gonna not use, so I, I've been starting with this one, which is the most, I guess, open layer. I've, always, I've been starting with that one. I'm just gonna lay this one on top, which is gonna complete out that design. So now I'm not using the first stencil that I had been using. I think I'm just going to use these two and see what I get. And since I used green, well, maybe I'll use yellow and the green will kind of mix into it a little bit because I'm not going to clean my stencil. All right, let's grab my yellow, put my blue away, grab my yellow. So now I'm not using the first stencil that I had been using on the other two. I'm just using the detail stencils. And I didn't clean my stencil off, so I'm dragging in a little bit of that green that was on here. And again, that works for me. It gives a different, different look to it, a different uh, feel to it. Then it almost can have like an ombre look to it. Okay, just that fast. I always put them in upside down. Let's close that up and let's see what we've got. So this time I left, here you've got a colored background. Here you've got a colored background with a white detail. Here you've got all three of them together. Now I've done a white background just by eliminating, just by eliminating that stencil, I've changed the look again. And I guess the best news is you have the option to do whatever it is you want. You don't have to choose, well, do I want this one or that one? You, you, you make the decision as what's going to work best for the project you're working on. And the stencils aren't sold separately. You don't have to buy individual stencils to then be able to do the layering. Look at how pretty is that? Oh my gosh. I love them. I do. Options, choices, yours. 
The girls are in love with the linear. They are absolutely in love with the linear because it gives them so many chances, so many color combinations where they're not, they're not um, running into each other and they're not the same line. They stop and they break and they start and they stop. And yet, how did that happen? How did you accomplish doing this with ink? People will want, there's always that question, how did you get it to do that? How did you get those lines in there in all those different colored inks? You can't, you can't do it with a stamp. It's really hard. You'd have to have three different stamps and then you'd have to be able to line them all up. But my gosh, with the stencil, easy peasy mac and cheesy. But now it's time to move on and get a little more difficult. I'm not gonna, I, I'm gonna open up a new one because I don't wanna take time to clean those. But if you were gonna clean them, all you need is a baby wipe. And if your stencil stains and it really bothers you, let's see, let me see if I can get this one. If your stencil stains and it really is just absolutely bothering you, get some hand sanitizer and your stencil will come much cleaner. You'll be able to get much more of that ink off of it with a hand sanitizer or an alcohol. Don't use blending solution. They charge too much for blending solution. Use hand sanitizer. In fact, use hand sanitizer for your blending solution. So you'll be able to clean the ink much easier. If it stains, see for me, if it stains, I don't care. But if you do and you want it to become more clean, just use your hand sanitizer. It'll get that ink much better. All right, so I'm gonna open up a new one, although I'm gonna put these over here because I love them. I love all of them and I love them with the words. Oh, right, how cute is that? Oh, love, love, love. Well, it's a good thing I did love, right? <laughs> that works. <laughs> Shucks, I could take this and I could put that across and then cut it down and then put my love in the center. I mean, you just have so many different options with these. You really do. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to put these off to the side. I'm going to open up a new set and we're going to try again. So I'm going to open up a new set. I'm going to close up my inks because we are going to take a step away from the ink. Just step away from the ink this time, Stacy. Okay. Clean up my desk a little bit. Open up a new one. Start with some white paper. And I'm going to start with this one. Okay, let's grab some washi tape and get it down. But I'm not going to use any ink at all. So I'm starting with the one that is most open. The one that has the most design. And because this stencil is symmetrical, it doesn't matter which way you do it. If you flip it and rotate it, it's still going to line up. And this time I'm going to play with a blending tool. Now we've been selling Aladdin's blending tools for forever and we'll continue to sell them, but there is a worldwide shortage. And there's some issues of getting things here. So who knew woodware also made blending tools? Had no clue. So we can get these readily available 
uh, while Aladdin is waiting for theirs to be manufactured. <laughs> so I guess we'll carry them both because really we would like to support the manufacturers that support us. And Woodware is a great company for us. They do fabulous stamps. Love their stamps. They've got great stencils. So didn't know they had blending tools until I had to go out and look for them. And gosh, I was kind of surprised. And here you get two blending tools and they do have the refill. So love them for that. And I am going to be using a blending tool, but I'm not going to be using it with ink. And what's a blending tool? It's just a little handheld tool that's got some Velcro there and a foam sponge. This is super important. You can't use a felt sponge for what I'm doing. You have to use a foam sponge. You also can't just use any adhesive. That's not going to work. So I'm going to be playing with my essentials glue today. And normally this is sold in a pad and it has the glue and the pad together. Today I'm going to be playing with just the refill. Just the refill. Now you, if you have the pad, you already have this. And remember, you don't put it all on your pad at the same time. You only use enough of this to do the project you're working on. But you can take the refill and use it on its own. And when this is all gone, you don't have to buy the ink pad again. You just buy the refill. So this is my Essentials Glue. And it is a two-way glue. What does a two-way glue mean? That means that if you, you, well, you can use it two ways. It means that if I were to put this glue down in a line or, don't wanna waste that. If I was to put this glue down and try and glue paper together, paper will glue together fine with this, as long as it's wet when you put your other paper down on top of it. I can absolutely take absolutely take two pieces of paper and glue them together and when that glue dries these papers are not going to be able to be pulled apart that's one way to use it but it's a two-way glue we're going to be using it completely different we're going to need this glue to go tacky so I'm going to put just a little bit not too much just a dabble do ya can you see that I just a little bit and I'm going to kind of spread it around and then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to dab that glue all over my, my stencil. Now eventually I'll have enough glue on here that I don't really need to go back and add more. Little dot. I don't want to put so much down that I waste it. I only want to use enough for my project and I'd rather add a little bit more and a little bit more than load up this whole thing and waste all that glue. And spread it. and spounce and just a little dot the glue will go a long way if you just do little dots okay So, I want to look in and I want to kind of see a sheen. Oh, can you see that? That means I've got my glue down and anywhere I can't see that, I want to make sure that I go back and add some glue so you can see where it's shiny. Shiny means you've got glue and that's what we want. And if I don't, I add just a little bit more Go back in and make sure that I've got some glue. 
and I'm kind of going around my outside because I'm going to use that as my registration mark. All right, now the thing about this glue is that it's got to go tacky. So I'm going to pull this off. Take off my stencil. And can you see the design that's left behind? I'm going to set this over to the side for just a minute. It needs to go tacky. That glue cannot be wet, wet, wet when I put my glitter on it. It has to be a little tacky. So I'm just going to do this one one more time. Put it right back down, lay it down, get a little bit of glue. Now my pad is starting to get really glued up so I don't need as much as I did. And you want to make sure you give a good push because that foam has to get down below the, the stencil, be below the plastic of the stencil. This is why you cannot use felt. Felt has no gush. You need a gush. You need to be able to push it down into it. Do you want to use a gush pad? Hmm, I don't know that you do because you don't want to have too much gush, but you want to be able to get that stencil all glued up. Is the glue water soluble? Yeah, to clean it, you just wash it. Glue is going to come right off. Oh, too much, too much, too much, Stacy. Too much, too much, too much. All right. The better that you see me do too much. A light touch with the glue is better when you're putting it on your spouncer. And then really just get in there and spounce away. Make sure you've covered the whole thing. So you can do a bunch of these at one time because it has to sit and go tacky. Oh, I can see I missed a spot right there. Not anymore. So you can see that it's wet. Perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to pull this off and pull this off. And I just stuck my finger in it. Okay. Sure did. Okay. So there it is. I'm going to let that one sit for just a minute. And the last one I'm going to do is on black paper. So since I've got glue on this stencil already, I'm just going to go, go, go. And because I have to let it go tacky, it doesn't matter if it sits there for five minutes or 10 minutes or 30 minutes. You have time. A little bit of glue. And now on black paper, it's way easier to see if you've got the glue down on any colored paper. The white paper is the hardest. So let me show you the difference. So can you see? Much easier, you can see up there, there's no gloss. Down here, it's easy to see where I've got the glue. And I'm just gonna spounce. until the whole thing is done. And I'll be able to see where I missed on the black easier than on the white. By just kind of rotating it, you can see, is it all glossy? Is there any place that isn't glossy that's got a sheen to it? You're looking for that sheen. And as long as you can see that sheen, even if it's slightly dull, as long as you can see that sheen, you know you've got glue there. And then when I take it off, you're going to be able to instantly tell. So you, I've got a lot of, yeah, I've got tons of glue on here now. So you only want to use as much glue as it takes to do your project. I used very little glue out of this bottle to do these three. And I'm just going to go ahead and 
let these go and use new ones. All right. So now I need it to go tacky. You, oh, and you can clearly see where the glue is. I need it to go tacky so you can either waft it or you can set it aside like I've done. This one's been sitting there for a while. This was the first one I did. I'm gonna go ahead and get some of the glue off of this. And put it there. And then I've got my two others right here to play with. And let's add some glitter. Now, what kind of glitter do you have to use? Almost any glitter. Um, it needs to, well, I, ideally ultra fine or micro fine. What's the difference in glitter? It's just like embossing powder. It's like the same, this is the same color gold, whether it be a fine glitter, an ultra fine glitter, or a micro fine glitter. Fine glitter is chunkier. The, the flecks of glitter are bigger. Not that they're like more roundy, they're just a bigger piece of the glitter. So a flatter, bigger piece. Ultra fine is ground a little finer than the fine and micro fine is the finest of glitters it's almost like dust so fine glitter and then you've got you've got you know standard glitter which is what you'd find in most schools where they have you know the big bottles and they're it's big chunky so several different grades of glitter it's all the same product it all determ is determined by how fine you grind it just like your coffee, how ground do you grind your coffee or your, um, gosh, what else, or your pepper or your salt. So this is an ultra fine, which means it is not as coarse or as, as the pieces are not as big. And the bigger the pieces are, the more glittery it is. The smaller the pieces are, the more polished it looks. So this is in between a micro fine and a fine glitter. This is ultra. And I'm gonna take it and I'm going to dust it on, well maybe I'll do, that sure is a pretty blue, maybe I'll do blue. I'm going to dust it on. Now again, same with glitter. Less is more. I don't want to put down a ton of glitter. And you can see I'm starting it at the top. Top of my design. Because then I'm going to take my finger and I'm slowly going to walk it down. And as I do that, my design is going to start to come out. If I need a little more glitter, I use a little more glitter. How many jars of glitter do you have that you haven't used and you don't know how long? I also can take, instead of my finger, I can take an inexpensive makeup brush and instead of using my finger, I can gather it with my makeup brush and move it all over my design. All over my design. Then I'm just gonna brush off the extra. This is glitter without making a mess. I like glitter without making a mess. Once it's dry, it's dry. 
you need to let it go tacky. It's the one time in your life you want to be tacky. If you use the glue too soon, you don't let it go tacky long enough and you put your glitter down, it will eventually just wipe right off. And it's up to you whether you want to leave the white border around it or not. But remember, this was just this was just one. In fact, I'm going to take the white border off. I'm going to take it right down. This was just one of the stencils. We're going to use, we're going to layer them. Well, how can you layer it? You already glittered down. But remember, the stencil is also a mask. So not only does it let you add things, it lets you hide and protect things. That's what a mask does. It hides and protects. Ooh. Ah. And you could use just that. You could be done. You could say, I'm good. That works for me. But I still have this one that's been sitting there. Right? So let's take it. And this time, maybe we use some silver. Ooh, silver. How about some silver? And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to kind of drizzle it on because it's been sitting there for a while, so I know it's tacky. I'm going to kind of drizzle it on. And then I'm going to kind of walk it on down. And where there is glue, it's going to hold. And where there isn't glue, it's not going to hold. And I can take my brush, inexpensive elf brush. We used to get them for a dollar at uh, Walmart. I don't know how much they cost now. Or no, I got them at Target and they were a dollar. I don't know how much they are now. Everything's changed in price. But you shouldn't spend more than a buck or two on just a very inexpensive makeup brush. Okay, I used too much glitter. I got too much down. So now I can gather that up. And put it back in. Okay, right? Yeah. Let's put down our next stencil. How about we do this one? And I layer this right on top of that silver glitter. And I hide all that beautiful silver glitter. And I tape it down. So now I'm masking that silver glitter. Tip it down. And tip it down. And what if I use gold? Let's try maybe the gold glitters. And tape it down. So I'm going to come back with my spouncer. I'm going to put a little bit more. I'm going to cover up my silver glitter before I dump it. Come in with a little bit more. Put some down. Spread it around. Oh, I got a little goober. And spounce it in place. I think I got enough. I always worry on the white because I can't see it. I 
always worry, do I have enough? Do I have enough? Because I can't, I can't always see it. It's bounced down. So you guys have been collecting glitter for how many years? And it's been sitting there, right? Now's the time to break it out. You're going to push down good and hard because you need to get below the ridges of that stencil, which is why you can't use a felt pad. I might get a little glitter on here. Looks like I didn't, though. I know I've got plenty. I'm the worst. This is, this is like you guys inking up your stamp pad too much. All right, I'm just going to let it go. If it doesn't come out, you know what? It's only paper. Peel these off. Mm, yeah, I don't think I got enough in the middle. Or maybe I got too much. Well, let's waft it and see what happens. It's only paper. That's the worst that can happen is it's only paper. So I'm wafting it because I don't want to sit there and wait for it to dry. And you can absolutely waft it. You can blow on it. All right, let's see if I, what I've got. Let's try some gold. What's the worst that can happen? Right now it's only paper. White paper at that. Or do I want to use that gold or do I want to? Yeah, I'm going to use this gold. Pour it over the top. And makeup brush it. And it's going to fill in every place that has glue. Every place that's got glue is now going to get a dusting of gold glitter. Dust it off. And can you now see the gold and the silver? But we're not done yet. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Can you see that? Let's do, let's do the last layer, which is here. And let's line it up. And now that last layer That last layer is going to be beautiful. Line it up. I think that looks good. Some washi tape. Maybe I'll do this last layer in red. I did one earlier in blue. I'll show it to you. So line it up, tape it down. Now it's masking off almost everything. Put my, okay. And then a little bit of glue. and go in and fill those holes. You know, I should probably figure and go into a pattern so I don't miss anything, but I never do go in a pattern. <laughs> should go up and down or side by side or something so that I'm sure that I didn't miss anything. 
a little bit more. Okay, and while this one dries for a minute, I'm gonna bring that black one over. Looks like I've got it. Pull it up. And I'm gonna sit this one off to the side because I've got this one that I haven't done yet. It's been sitting there waiting. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, wait, I can't do it yet. I gotta put the glitter on this one first. Okay, so I've got this one going. Ready for glitter. It's been sitting there for a while, right? Let me wipe off my hands, wipe off my mat, and let's add some glitter to it. What color? See, I think this one's pretty spectacular. I don't, this is called multi, and it looks like a mishmash pot, but it's, I think on the black, it's fabulous. So what if I just drizzle some up top here? Big jars, and I want to say they're $3.80 a jar, and then they're on a YouTube Yummy. So you get quite a bit of glitter. And then I'm just going to take it. And I'm going to walk it down. Oh, right? Spread it around. If I need a little more, get a little more. I don't need too much more though. Plenty. And any place you've got that glue, it's gonna hold it in place. Oh my gosh, that looks good just all on its own. That looks good just on its own. Okay, but we have to do something else to it. I gotta do more. So let's take, hmm. Hmm, is this the one I want? Or do I want? That's the one I used. Where did it go? Where's my other stencil? Anybody see it? One, two. No, it was just here a moment ago. Can't go too far, right? I'll just open up another one because it's here somewhere. And the minute I the minute I ink this one, it's gonna end up. I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna do this one. So I'm gonna cover all of that up. Look at how it covers all of that up. And I'm gonna tape it down. Line it up. Tip it down, and I just had it too. Line it up. So another way of using your glitter that you've been stashing for forever. Spouncer, glue, glue, and bounce and on this one it'll be very easy for me to see where I've got I've got glue everywhere I think I've got enough on here to do the whole thing but I don't have to go back for more
That looks pretty good. Do you see any place I missed? You see any place I missed? I think that's good. Well, it's only black paper. So I'm going to pull this off and I'm going to let it sit for a minute. Oh, and you can see where it's glued. Okay, I'm going to let that sit and I'm going to come back. Don't lose this one this time, Stacy. Okay. I'm going to come back and we did this one. So let's see if I add red glitter, what's going to happen. So start at the top. And just kind of let it walk on down and wherever there's glue it's going to hold oh wherever you've got glue that glitter is going to hold All right, dust it off. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, put my lid back on. Now, it's a little light on this one. I think it's a little light on there. Can I go back and add more glue? Sure I can, absolutely, without any problem. I just put my stencil right back over the top, but I'm not going to now that I'm moving it. So let's cut it out. And remember the first one oh, I did, I missed glue. white there I missed it so I'm just gonna grab a little Ozzy Andrew has these little uh, little brushes you get 50 a pack most of you have these I'm just gonna go in put a little glue right down on my craft mat Ooh, plenty and I mean a little glue I don't even know if you can see how little that is and I'm just gonna come in here and fill that little section in and I might fill this one in a little bit over here it's a little light and give it a second to go tacky so well the, remember we started with just one super cute background And then we've been layering them. I'm going to give that just a second to go tacky. And while that's going tacky, I'm going to bring this one back. And I'm going to use a, I think I'll use a vibrant gold, 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 gold. And let's see what we get. Drizzle across the top. And then walk it down and where there's glue it's going to adhere too much I use too much look at how much extra I've got I'm going to put it back in because I already dusted off the, the other color so I'm just going to put this back in my bottle and not waste.
brush off. And I don't even think I'm gonna do a third color because that black is a color. I still could do one more color on here, but I think that black is so elegant. What do you think? Are you thinking I'm crazy for trying this? Look at how fine those lines are, but look at the glitter is holding and keeping my lines so that you can see the black cardstock underneath. And I could, I could come through with another one more color, but I don't know that I should, I don't. I found my stencil. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. This one I need a little more red. Just a I it was a touch there. It was a touch there. Oh yeah, better. Better. So, do you like it more subtle? almost has a metal looking effect, doesn't it? A little more subtle. Do you like it bling, bling, bling? Do you like, you could use any of these stencils and just use, just use the one stencil. You could use these two together to give you the same look as this, but in glitter. Oh! Right? Ah! Look at, wait, I did, I did, I did this one earlier. Oh! Right? And then I did this one earlier. So I used different stencils to do these. So see how that one has the black center? And this one does not. So I used different stencils to get the look. I used two, two different stencils here versus here. But they look great. Love, 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 love. A little more subtle, a little more blingy. And then once it's dry. Hello doesn't come off. Look, Ma. They're not like M&Ms. They really don't melt in your hand. This one's still a little wet. No, it's pretty good. Pretty. Pretty. All done with glitter and stencils. The only thing you need, look at, I found them all. <laughs> the only thing you need is a spouncer and some two-way glue. It's got to be two-way glue and you have to use a foam. Now, does it have to be a spouncer? Could you use a, a makeup sponge? Sure, you can use a makeup sponge. This is a little easier to hold and you never throw it away. You may throw these away, but this you keep forever and ever. And um, gosh, and Woodware sells theirs in a two pack and then a 10 pack. And I don't know, we'll have them on a YouTube yummy. We love Keep It Cool Kevin and Aladine. But um, when I say that there's a worldwide, you know, uh, logistical supply chain, I mean it. <laughs> it's happy. Gosh, somebody came in the store the other day and they said that they have just moved and they ordered furniture and they were told it will take a year for the furniture to get there. Because, well, that's what it's going to take. And I posted something on Facebook about Costco. Costco's like renting their own cargo ships to get their stuff here. I just need a little space cargo uh, of a Costco. I don't need much, but I need a little. So I wanted to show you just how beautiful the stencils are. Done in glitter. And I know 
you have some glitter and if you don't well then we've got stampendous but if you have a local retail store a local mom and pop shop i am sure they sell glitter too and we would encourage you to go buy it from them but look at where we started and look at where we ended we started with die cutting just simple die cutting where are my die cuts hello simple die cutting out of ozzy andrews worldwide launch making cute things where's my blue ones making cute things out of dies oh here eight dollars a set gets you so much i think between the dies and the simply defined kaleidoscope layering stencils you just you there's so much you can do here and then we went and we started to play a little bit just using ink and leaving leaving out the third stencil so that you have I like it with the orange you have some negative space there but then we added in the third color and of course you can turn it any way you want it doesn't have to be horizontal or vertical you can go horizontal and we did this one earlier where it has more of the brown tones in it. Great, easy guy cards. But then if you wanna be festive with them, you change up the colors and you get beautiful, beautiful results. It all depends upon what colors you use. You'll get fabulous things. Just depends upon what color. So I could put that there. How cute is that? I could trim that down a little bit and oh my gosh, and then you've got the background on it. Super easy, darling. I could put, I could put this love. And put my love there. Put the, get the little pieces that fell out to finish out your little ease and your little, your little pieces that fall out to finish out your words but you've got options with those and you've got options with the stencils. So we did that first, but then we took the next stencil because we always have two of them. And this time we played with color. Again, we just used two stencils here and then we used two different stencils here. So you get the white background. So this one, maybe we layered two and three, and this one we layered one and two. And this one we layered one, two, and three. But then we started to play with the glitter. And the glitter is just sheer happiness. And you saw how easy it was. This does not take a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of work. It's just a matter of what you want it to look like. So pretty. You choose. You can do it all. You can do it all. The only thing you don't have is the stencil. That I'm sure because they're my designs. <laughs> But do you have ink already? Great. Do you have glitter already? Great. Have you been sitting on this and not using it? Pull it out and use it. Great. If you can't get a spouncer, use a makeup brush or a makeup uh, foam. Absolutely. Go get a cheap, inexpensive makeup brush so that you can move your glitter around. And once it's down, hello, right? glitter without the mess yay okay we did a ton all right i'm not throwing these away because they're just lovely i love them i'm very happy with them um what do we what oh and i'm not going to throw these away because that's good too we'll save those and the girls can make samples for the store aren't they thrilled but i've got samples over here that i haven't even shown you yet okay so what's on sale let me tell you what's on sale first um of course all of ozzy andrews worldwide launch of his his uh dies amazing 
eight bucks per set. You saw all you can do with them. We'll have an I want it all, but you don't have to. You can pick just one. We'll have, whether you buy the I want it all or not, they're all gonna be the same price. So they'll be 20% off. So from $10 down to $8. Pick one, pick two, pick all eight, up to you. Then we have the blending brush and tools and refills from Woodware, yay. I also have a new versus set. So we did one versus set and a lot of the samples are gonna have this set. It is more guy related. So a father's love is a guiding force that helps keep our life on course, our lives on course. A good man leads a life of integrity and his children are blessed after him. Um, we make a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. And a man is only as great as he is kind. So a really beautiful exclusive versus set that you are going to see on card after card after card. Great set exclusively to us, and it'll be on sale 20% off. Then we have, oh my gosh, then we have glitter after glitter after glitter. I want to say we have about 20 different colors of Stampendous glitter. This isn't all of them. There's more. But if you don't have glitter, Stampendous has beautiful ultra fine glitter for you. Reasonably priced, $3.80 a jar and then 20% off. How can you go wrong? Pick the colors that make your heart happy. We will not have an I want it all on this. Some colors we literally have 50 bottles. Some colors we have 40 bottles. Some colors we have 75 bottles. So I can't do an I had one at all because there's just different quantities for each color. Pick the colors that make your heart happy or the ones you cannot find locally. If you can shop local, shop local. And then the last thing we have for you are my stencils. And of course you get all three stencils in each pack. A2 size, $9.99 value priced simply to find that's my brand you can't find them anywhere else you can find the glitter else play other places you can find the glue other places you can find ink other places and we encourage you to shop local so get them there but the stencils you'll have to get here so let's talk samples shall we all right i already showed you this one you make me smile now the banner is comes in that set, the You Make Me comes in that set, the Smile comes in that set, and again, I did this one as a, this was a prototype sample that I colored, and they made it into a fabulous card, but what a difference from that to that. Totally different look, or I could have done that to that. Totally different look. Now here, here we've left negative space. Look at all the negative space. We've got white going through and actually colored with watercolor. And here you've got the, a good man, leaves, uh, good man leads a life of integrity and his children are blessed after him. It's from Proverbs, yeah? Yes. So beautiful, right? Great guy card. Here, a father's love is a guiding force that helps to keep our lives on course. All done just different shades of brown. You can do this. These stencils make your life easy. This was done with texture paste. You want to run texture paste through my stencils? You go right ahead. And this is Ozzy Andrews. Congrats. Gosh, and does the congrats come with the flowers? Hold on. Don't go anywhere. Smile. Love celebrate congrats no i wonder where they got the flowers from the flowers are cute i wonder if they came from one of the other sets so congrats not supposed to open it right no good okay here <laughs> miss belinda did this one and she was going to throw it away she did not like her background at all and she just she inked over it and she was like hmm miss belinda look at how fabulous this card is that you did amazing that background is rock star it is wonderful 
Yeah, a little grungy, a little distressed looking. Oh yeah. And then just look at how pretty is this. Look at that. Bright and happy and cheerful. And here we have Happy Birthday done with Ozzy Andrews dies and my background. What a great guy card and I love the colors. Love that. And then we go Happy Winter with the pinks and the blues. It's it, it changes dramatically by what color ink you use. And here, here we did, remember what I did when I put the, the dye, I made this. Remember when I made this with the love? And then we cut it again and we cut it in vellum. And we put the vellum behind the hello. So we did this one. We did the background and the hello when we cut them together to get the frame. And then we just cut the background, the shadow, and put it behind with vellum. And then a man is only as great as he is kind. Look at, see the negative space, You leaving the white, only using two of the stencils to get the design. White and black are colors. Yes, they are. You can you, you can leave it white and black. And then another one, another Halloween one. So this was Belinda's. And this was mine. <laughs> right? Same stencil. Totally different. I used more purple, she used more orange, but how cool is that? And then here you have Thoughts of Love. And we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. Okay, then we have the other stencil set. So the linear is, wait a minute. So I named, this one is named stained glass, the one that looks kind of like stained glass. And the linear is called vertical clash because the lines aren't perfectly straight. They kind of butt into each other and jut out a little bit. I, I'm very happy with them, love them. So we had heartfelt thanks. And we have, oh, and I'm supposed to open it. Look at how beautiful, look at the negative space. She used one stencil to do that. Just one. And you've got congrats on the inside. I think she used one. Pretty sure she used one. And she fussy cut the birds out. This is Claire. And here, a little more watercolory distressy. A man is only as great as he is kind. And then look at this one. Thank you. Look at how beautiful is that. Some negative space, some white. And again, yeah, I think they use just, it's one stencil. We use one stencil to get this done like Claire did. One stencil. You've got an actual little coin in there. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that great guy? Great guy card. And then here we dolled them up with some other stamps. Perk up. Things will get better. But look at the background. How cute is that? And this one, this one was done with texture paste. So this one was all done with texture paste and just one stencil to get this look with the texture paste. And then Ozzy Andrews dies, which these are Ozzy Andrews dies and this is an Ozzy Andrew die. <laughs> yep, which this is heartfelt thanks. Um, so that's not it. 
that's not it. Uh, oh, look it. Oh, see, that's where that flower came from. It came from Heartfelt Thanks. So you've got the leaves from Heartfelt Thanks on this one, but you've got this one from like Hello, maybe? Yep, from Hello. Yep, there's the flower and there's the flower. So all the dyes on here came from Ozzy Andrew. And then your heartfelt thanks. And then we've got just using the background as a background. So cute. And here. I mean, you do the fronts and your cards are basically done. And this one we did with a texture paste and mist. And then Ozzy Andrews dies. Look at that. We did texture paste and then we misted it. Belinda worked on this one too. Beautiful. And then this one, this one didn't have time to make it into a card. <laughs> so <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, everybody, I'm going to tilt on up. Let me tilt on up and say, well, I don't think that they're homely at all, Ozzy Andrew. I don't think they're homely at all. I think your dyes are wonderful. Love them. And actually, I love the name just because it's so funny. <laughs> and your price is wonderful. So, like I said, where are you going to get all of this product? Well, I'm hoping that you still have an independent local retailer to shop at. And when I mean local independent, I mean a mom and pop shop. I know many of you have one of the box stores and that's great too. But if you can find a local independent, even if they're online, you know, there's lots of major online uh, crafting stores to shop at. But if you can find a local independent online, give them your business. They would sure appreciate it. Most of the local independent stores didn't try to go online until everything changed the past year and a half. And then they found themselves with another no other resource but to go online. So if you had a local independent, call them up and say, hey, did you start something online? And see if you can shop there. And then if not, well, we would certainly appreciate you shopping with Scrapbooking Made Simple. And for the few products that are exclusive to us, Ozzy Andrews dies from Couture Creation, his homely flower collection, <laughs> and the Simply Defined Kaleidoscope Layering Stencils. Those you'll have to find with us. All right, you guys, it's me, Stacy. Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Hoping that I've grown out of my homeliness <laughs> over the years. And if not, don't tell me. I don't want to know. I'll see if I can find a picture and bring it in. Because I truly was really, really homely as a kid. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'll talk to you later. See you next week. Bye, everybody. <laughs> oh, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Bye. <laughs>